Hey, Edwin again here from Resolutions Design, making a video for my clients um, who are probably either starting off with the websites or anyone out there that's actually looking to setting up your Shopify email automations. So I've had some requests from some of the clients that we finalized the websites and also those that are either in the middle or maybe you just you already have a website and um, you want to create these automations, right? Um, so as a reminder again, I want to continue making these videos, <clears throat> more and more resourceful videos. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please press subscribe below, add a comment, like it, so that I could go ahead and start creating even more content, all right guys? Okay, so first of all, MailChimp. Um, MailChimp is a good program that I've used. Uh, there's also others that exist and competitors out there that could probably do a great job as well. Uh, whichever one your preference is. Um, so this example here for MailChimp, to me, by far, it's one of the easiest user-friendly experiences. And um, I'm making this video for you guys um, so that you guys could actually make these automated emails. So let's talk about automated emails. What type of automated emails can you create? Well, for your website, you know how sometimes you have clients who they go to your website, they sign up on that pop-up that you say, hey, saving 20% off if you sign off or if you sign up uh, your email. And then they go ahead and they sign up using that pop-up. And then what happens? They sign up and what happens, right? They're waiting for that email. Maybe you're doing an offer. They're like, well, I signed up. Where's the email, right? So this is how we go about it. You sign up into MailChimp. You make sure that you have MailChimp integrated with your Shopify. So for this particular client, just to show you on the back end here, MailChimp, the app for Shopify is integrated already into the Shopify account. So that's the first thing you need to do prior to anything. Make sure that your MailChimp uh, app for Shopify is integrated into your store. Next, make sure that you have a list going on. Well, now, what type of settings should your list have? Make sure that the email here for whatever this list is in charge of, make sure you're not using like a Gmail, okay? So because remember, MailChimp is emailing out to all of your customers on your behalf using a specific email. And sometimes the emails that you put there could be like a Hotmail, a, 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 at AOL.com, excuse me, um, and things of that nature. Here's what I advise you to do. Get yourself a business email. And the best recommendation that I could give you is like go to a GoDaddy or whoever it is that you purchase your domain name from. So at yourbusiness.com, right? Get yourself an email like an info at, and in this case, calderajewelry.com or a hello at calderajewelry.com. When you integrate that into the list here and the emails get shot out to all of your clients, they will not go into the spam folder. It'll be less likely for that because it's a, it's, Google recognizes it as an original business email and not just an, a regular personal at Gmail. It looks unprofessional, right? So that's one of the things you got to make sure you set up here inside of your list, right? Moving forward, what we're going to do is create a campaign. So we're going to create a campaign here and right here it says create campaign. And then it says create an email. Let's do that. What type of an email? Well, we want an automated email. And in this case, we want to welcome new subscribers. And the campaign name, this is something internally. What would you want to call it? You know, you could call it the welcome message. But in this case, let's do sign up. Okay. More specific so that when you see the automated, you're like, hey, what's this automation? You already know that this is what it's referring to. Okay. And make sure that it's focused on the list. In most cases, some of my clients might have a whole bunch of websites connected to their MailChimp. So just make sure you're focusing on the list that's important. Press begin. So right here, we're inside of the automation builder. And it's right now at a default, okay? And it's going to trigger one day after the subscriber joins your list, a new subscriber. So it might not be instantly, it'll be a day after, and that way they could get their stuff. And I'm sure you could edit this trigger so that it could be more instantaneous. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is design this email right here on the right side. Okay. And what is the name of the email? Again, this is the internal use. So we're going to call this the welcome sign up. Okay. And the email subject line, something very uh, catchy, right? So that the user understands that it's from you. So. Right. 
right? Something like that. Or, you know, you could put, here is your discount. If you want to include a discount, right? Um, and then from the name, the front name, the business name, not the person. Okay, and there goes that email, right? The professional email. Okay, so we got this set up properly. Let's go ahead and press next. And here we have uh, some templates, okay? And these templates are based off, well, how do you want to design it, right? So I say, let's keep it simple, right? Let's choose this first one, which is selling a product, okay? And as you can see from this experience, it's a very user-friendly, you know, here's an object-oriented stuff we could drag, drop, and then customize it out for you and all that stuff. So, you know, right here you click on logo and it's telling you the dimension that it needs to be. So right now it's at a static logo. Let's go ahead and replace that. Okay. We want to upload the logo. Okay. And by uploading the logo, we could go ahead and maybe use this one. I'm not sure. All right, let's use uh, this one so that it matches. Hopefully it, it will be in a good size. There it is, right? And, you know, right here, there's a text. I click on it, and it shows you right here that you could edit it. Thank you for signing up. Singing. <laughs> signing up. Okay. Press save close because we're already done with this text. Right, and I'm sure that there's videos out there that you could look up as how to design emails, right? But the whole point that I'm showing in this video is this is the area where you could actually customize that email so that those that actually sign up, they get this welcoming email and you could customize the background color, add some images, maybe even add a product, put the discount code somewhere and re and right here, even where it says start shopping, redirect them to the address that takes them to your website so that they could go ahead and buy it. And once we have that, make sure you, you know, preview it, make sure that it looks good on the mobile, that it looks good on all devices. Right here showing the desktop version, here's the mobile, here's the inbox, etc. This is a very, very great useful tool. And then once you're actually ready to go, you could press uh, save and close and then just go ahead, save and continue and launch it. And MailChimp will give you a thumbs up that it's already pre-set up and that's it. It's that easy. So this is very useful as you could see, um, you know, and you could also set this up for your abandonment carts as well, instead of hiring other third party uh, developers and, and paying a subscription for apps just to do abandonment carts, etc. You could have MailChimp do it for you at no additional cost using the same instructions I just sent you. Um, so set this up. Let me know if this was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if there's any specific questions, if you guys has, have problems. Again, this is Edwin from ResolutionsDesign.com. Thank you very much.